Monday again. Uh, Mike and I are down at the shed and uh, we're going to start off uh, with something we should have done a long time ago. I turned the pinball machine over and some more of these plastics fell out. So we are going to take, uh, I'm sorry, some of the, the light simulators fell out. So we're going to take the plastics off and we are going to super glue all of those into their places so that they can't fall out anymore. Um, I don't think I'm going to film that. I mean, gluing, you know, you don't really need to watch that. Uh, but it'll take us probably half an hour, 45 minutes to get this all done. And then we'll come back and figure out what the next step for today is. Okay, that actually only took about 15 minutes, and we've uh, got uh, super glue on each of those. We're waiting for that to dry before we uh, put the plastics back on, which will take another five minutes, and then we'll be able to start working. We're going to reinstall the pop bumpers over here, see if we can fix the eight ball drop target, um, and then we're going to hook up the lights. I've got uh, power supply here that I'm going to wire up so that we can provide power to the LED string and I brought the software with me this time to actually drive them so uh, we'll be playing around with that and see how everything looks once it's all put together. Uh, so we got distracted with visitors today and we really haven't done uh, much work we've actually been playing around with our other pinball machines and stuff but we did get this put back together and we got all the lights turned on uh, so you guys can see what this actually looks like. It, it actually looks really, really sharp. Uh, and we are pretty much done with this play field now, as far as I know. The only thing that I can think of that's left to do on this, uh, now let me, let me we, got, we got several things to do on this yet. We, uh, as I said earlier, uh, we got to put the eight ball target in. We've got to put these drop targets in over here. But underneath the table, we need to uh, reestablish the uh, solenoid uh, expander board connection. So uh, I talked about that in one of our earlier videos where the solenoid expansion board is used to uh, drive uh, three additional solenoids that they needed on this uh, machine. And so... Uh, uh, that is going to be driven off of our custom board. It's got an SCR on it designed just for driving that solenoid driver board, uh, but that is not hooked up yet. So we're going to have to figure out how to get that hooked up and test that. So that's something we'll have coming up later on. But I think this is probably going to wrap it up for today. So uh, thanks for watching.